Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I'm going to present to you this male patient, middle-aged with this left sphenoiditis with left sphenoquinal polyp, and he read the opacified sphenoid and the polyp coming down from the left sphenoid. This is the widened sphenoid ostium and here is the polyp going to the queen. This patient has something interesting related to his unsnit process attachment. Here is the right unsnit process and we know that unsnit process attachment is crucial for the determination of the pattern of drainage of the frontal sinus. Here is the root of the right Unsnit process and I'm going up and the unsnit process blends here on the sagittal cut with the posterior part of this is agar nazi cells and if you follow the unsnit process here you will find the unsnit process connected to the or attaching to the lamina papyracea so it is directed here up 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 and then going laterally to the lamina papyracea this is the commonest at insertion of the onset but in this patient he has also another at attachment here to the middle term so it is not uncommon to find the unsnit attaching laterally to the lamina papyracea and at the same time it also has some attachment with the middle term. As we said, the unsnit is important because it, if you follow the unsnit process up like that, you will go to the uh, frontal ostium, it is the unsnit and if you follow it up to near its attachment, then this this is the frontal sinus this is the frontal sinus so here is the frontal sinus on the sagittal here there is supraorbital cell and this is the site of the anterior humoidal artery in the sagittal here in a canal in the mesentery like that and you can follow it also on the axial cut like this from the orbit to the to the brain thank you